Baton Rouge City Parish leaders began laying the groundwork for designing and planning a potential new juvenile detention center and parish jail. News 2's Alexis Marini reports there are a lot of questions, including how the parish intends to fund the project. The East Baton Rouge Juvenile and Jail Task Force has spent months touring facilities and parishes across the state. Tonight, they're back here in our backyard talking to the Baton Rouge community about what they hope to see in these potential new facilities. This is a look inside the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. People don't want to come here and help us. We want people to come. We beg people to come. Kathy Fontenot works for the EBR Sheriff's Office. She says the facilities are outdated and near constant maintenance is needed. We have a crisis in the community that this prison cannot fix alone. After months of research, the EBR Juvenile and Jail Task Force outlined their hope to build new adult and juvenile facilities. Metro Council member Daryl Hurst is heading the project, which is a long way from completion. I wouldn't want my dog to be running around there for the fear that he might cut himself with the same metal that comes off the bars. They make shanks out of every day. He says the spaces need more than a physical overhaul. The task force has brought on Grace A. Bear Curtis Architects for planning and designing both facilities over the next 90 days. And what great looks like is programming, proper education, resources, tools, bringing the colleges into uh, the incarcerated facilities to ensure that when they leave, they become productive citizens to society. Hearst says the designs include comfortable, modern spaces instead of restricting inmates behind just bars. You, know, you telling me that the, that the, that the jail is going to look like the Marriott is one thing, but it's still going to be jail, right? The other question on everyone's mind is who's paying for the overhaul and how much is it going to cost? The answer is complicated. As the group compiles ideas, they hope to better understand the community's needs. Well, we, we don't have the total yet. And again, remember, what we're doing right now is looking at a number of different needs in the community. One is an adult jail. One is juvenile detention.